Breaking news, an exchange of gunfire at a busy gas station in Elmwood Park leaves one man dead. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. And I'm Mai Martinez. Thank you for joining us. Three children were in the back seat of one of the cars. Now the search is on for a suspect. CBS 2's Adrena Bigas is live at the scene in Elmwood Park. Adrena. Good evening, Jim and Mai. The gas station is back open for business after four hours of an active scene here. The shooting happened just before 5 o'clock this afternoon, broad daylight. Not only were there lots of people at the gas station, but there's also lots of homes next to and across from this BP. You live right next to this. Just tell me what you heard. I was just in my living room and I heard like pow, 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 pow. And I looked up and I thought, no, that can't be what I thought it was. We saw police marking at least 14 shell casings in the gas station parking lot on 75th and Grand. Police say one man was walking out of the store, another was pumping gas. They gave each other some looks and then started shooting. The man who was pumping gas was hit and fell to the ground. His son started doing CPR, but that man died on scene. Meanwhile, the other shooter got into his car and sped off. Police say there were three children in the back of seat of one of those cars. Like, out of all places that you wouldn't expect something like this to happen, this is definitely it. And it happened. That's so, for us Elmwood Parkers, it's, it's something else. Again, there were lots of people at the gas station during the shooting when those 14 rounds were shot. And so police are questioning witnesses. No one is in custody, but police do tell us they have very crystal clear surveillance pictures of that shooting and the suspect. Live in Elmwood Park, Audrina Bigas, CBS 2 News. Jim and I. Thank you, Audrina.